Periscope, what's up? Greg Howes, Wednesday morning. Wednesday morning, September the 28th. Good morning. God bless you. Welcome to Leaderscope. I've been gone for a little while. Good to be back. High Energy Wednesday. Yeah, let's go. Hey, Atlanta, good morning. Vincennes, Indiana, good morning. Good to see you guys this morning. God bless you. This is Living Now. Come on. Chef Marty and Terry, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, Muncie, Indiana. Good morning. I miss you too. Just wait for a few more seconds while people are coming on. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Got the coffee going. Got the coffee going. Got the breakfast going. Come on. Midweek time. New Jersey is here. Good morning. God bless you guys. Monica in Mississippi. High energy. Come on, Monica. Let's go. Woodbridge, Virginia. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good to be back. Thank you. Thank you. I've been over in Croatia, the land of Croatia, part of Eastern Europe, part of the former Yugoslavia. Croatia is right on the Adriatic Sea, on the eastern side of the Adriatic Sea. Italy is on the western side of the Adriatic Sea. And in the northern parts, Italy and Croatia actually meet up north on the north end of the Adriatic Sea. But uh, that's where I've been for the last week, in Zagreb, Croatia. Zagreb is the capital city of Croatia. I was there with Apostle Shisko Alic and Word of Life Church. And I had the privilege of uh, being in a partnership ministry with Ryan Lestrange. We had a great time, my first time meeting Ryan Lestrange. And uh, I discovered that, discovered that he has a very powerful anointed ministry healing ministry, prophetic ministry, very, very good, very strong meetings, and uh, we had a great time over in Croatia, but it's good to be back in Chicago, good to be back home, and good to be back here on Periscope this morning, I missed a few days, I, I uh, came on a couple of times from Croatia, uh, I don't know if you guys were watching those um, scopes that I did from Croatia, but I did a few of them. Uh, but I know I've missed a few days. So it's good to be back on with you here this morning. It is Wednesday. It is midweek. If you happen to be in our area, south suburbs of Chicago, we do have our midweek time this evening at 7 o'clock p.m. And we'll be all together. We're joining together this evening in our multi-purpose room. And the emphasis will be on the prophetic ministry. It's going to be very strong tonight, 7 p.m. So if you're in the area, we invite you to come and be a part of that. Also, this coming Saturday, I'm going to be meeting with our Vanguard men. That will be at 7.30 a.m. 7.30 in the morning this Saturday, I'll be with the Vanguard men as we look at some things concerning our identity. And so uh, I'm enthusiastic about that. Actually, every Saturday in October, we'll be meeting with the men early in the morning. So that's going to be good. Amen. Good to be with you today. Uh, I want to talk to you for a few minutes this morning about first things. And when I'm mentioning first things, this is what I'm referring to. Your ability to break through, to accomplish what has not been done before. So that's what I'm aiming at. Your ability to break through, to accomplish what has not been done before. So that's where we're going. So I'm encouraging you today to stir up your faith for first things. The things that no one else has ever done. This is your time. This is your time to accomplish what you previ previously thought was impossible. This is the time where the impossible becomes possible for your life. What was considered impossible is now being considered possible. I want you to get your eyes on that, get your faith on that. It is possible right now. So a high level of faith is required to do what has not been done before. A high level of courage is required to do what has not been done before. Enlarged vision is required to do what no one else has done before. And I believe that covenant friendships will add strength to you as you are attempting to do what no one else has done before. 
You're going to have to have a breakthrough mindset in order to do what no one else has done before. You're going to have to have a circumcised heart. No hardness of heart here. No, no arrogance. You're going to have to have a circumcised heart to do things that no one else has done before. And you're going to need circumcised ears. No more dullness of hearing if you're going to do things that no one else has done before. Strong prayer is vital because your prayer life is the component that's going to connect you with your creator. And your creator is the author of creative strategic thought. And so as you pray, as you develop a strong prayer life, you are becoming one with creator God and his creativity and his strategy is being downloaded into your spirit. And then it's also important that you have intimate worship with him. Intimate worship times with God because that's going to help you draw close to God. And as you draw close to God, he will reveal his heart and mind to you, which is going to be very beneficial for you as you are doing things that no one has done before. Are you with me? Amen. I love it. I love it. I love it. Let's do some things that no one has attempted to do before. It's going to take faith. It's going to take courage. It's going to take some risk taking, but I believe we can do it. You have to have a mind for breakthrough. Yeah, breakthrough. It's time right now. So if you have a breakthrough mindset, hey, South Carolina, good morning. If you have a breakthrough mindset, it means that you are looking for those new opportunities. You're ready to discover those new opportunities. You're overcoming obstacles and hindrances, and you're breaking all restrictions and limitations. You're moving forward with high momentum and increased acceleration. You're advancing beyond the enemy's lines in order to take territory that belongs to you. You're achieving success now where there's only been failure earlier. Every place you have known failure up until now, we're going to believe God that it's being changed, it's being shifted now to a place of success and prosperity. And you're going to accomplish what has not been done before. I want you to get your faith on that today. You are going to accomplish what has not been accomplished before. Every assignment that you enter into requires a breakthrough spirit. Did you hear that? Every new assignment in your life requires a breakthrough spirit. Every place you are supposed to access, every place you are supposed to access requires a breakthrough spirit. There's always going to be a measure of resistance, so you need to be ready for that. Resistance is always going to be there. You're always going to have an enemy that is rising up against you. He's called the ruler of this world. And when you start making inroads into his world, you are becoming a threat to what he is attempting to do. Therefore, you need to be ready for the resistance. You need to push back against that resistance and discover that you need this breakthrough mentality in order to break the resistance off of your life. You're going to have to have a high level of maturity in order to do this, and you're going to have to have the ability to live with pressure. Live with the pressure of resistance. Can you do that? Can you live successfully with the pressure of resistance bearing down in your life? I believe you can. That's why I'm here to encourage you today and to believe God with you today that you can do things that no one has done before. You can accomplish things that no one has accomplished before. It is your portion. And I believe you should be going for it with all of your heart and with all of your mind. Scripture says in Proverbs chapter 3 that we are to trust in the Lord with all of our heart. Lean not on your own understanding, but acknowledge him in all your ways. Acknowledge him in all your ways. And he is going to make your pathway clear and straight. He's going to do it. He's going to do it in your life. As you launch out by faith, as you launch out in courage, as you take those faith risks, I believe God is with you. His hand is upon you. And he's going to be empowering you. He's going to be authorizing you. He's going to be strengthening you. He's going to give you that little nudge in the back to continue to move forward, to continue to go after it with all of your heart, with all of your might, and to accomplish what no one has accomplished before. Ask God to show you something. Ask him to give you a vision. Ask him to give you a dream 
about what has not happened before. Maybe there's some kind of business that needs to open up in your region. Maybe there's some type of ministry opportunity that needs to open up in your region. Maybe it's a business situation. Maybe it's something that you need to accomplish in your family. Maybe you're the first one in your family line that's going to go and get a college degree or a master's degree or a doctorate degree. How cool would that be? But I'm telling you, God is inspiring you today. God is stirring you up today. God is doing something great in your life to cause you to be a pioneer, to cause you to be a forerunner, to go ahead of others and to accomplish things, do things, make things happen that have never happened before. I want you to be encouraged with that today. I want you to be strengthened with that today because I believe God is empowering you to do these things and it's going to be strong, and it's going to be mighty through your life. Hallelujah. High Energy Wednesday. Oh, yeah. Come on. Let's do some things that have not been done before. Go after it with all of your heart. God bless you so much. Thanks for being on Leaderscope with me today. I appreciate it. I love you. I'm grateful for you. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you for inviting friends and followers to come on. It's great talking to you today. Great to be back on Periscope. And uh, I'm just looking forward to a great day today. I myself am going to a meeting on the north side of Chicago, so I'll be on the road in just a little bit. I hope you have a great day. Be ready for the opportunities that are arriving today. Be ready for the open doors that are coming your way today. Be ready for new connections, new relationships. Be ready for new resources coming into your hands. It's happening for you today. All so that you can do things that have never been done before. Our God is a creative God, and he's working his, cre his creativity through you, through your life. It's going to be great. Have a wonderful day. Have a great rest of the week. God bless you so much. I'll be talking to you again tomorrow. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might.